Hello everyone, Whisker of Fear here. Letting you all know that C-Man is not dead. <laughs> he is still alive and well. I just haven't been doing as many videos on him lately. Uh, his growth is kind of slow at this point. But he has grown a little bit. So let's see what changes have happened. Hello. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. At the moment, the habitat contains two cadmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to... <clears throat> yes, now there are only, once again, just two seamen in the tank. It's cold in here. Yay! Hey, you. Yes? Hi. How's your weekend going? Not bad. So as you can see here, they are starting to look more like frogs. They're getting bigger bodies and bigger feet and legs. And the insects and larvae are still here. Seaman still is not eating anything yet. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> All right. So, what's up? What's up? Up? Why, whatever do you mean? Hmm. What's up? All right. So let's see if C-Man will have any conversation. Hello? This better be important. Will you talk? You know, it struck me that I've been around you for quite some time now, participating in your daily routines. However, I'm not quite sure exactly where we are. I'm guessing we are somewhere in America, but the details are fuzzy. Like you, fuzzy. Anywho, I was wondering if you'd be so kind as to tell me which state we're residing in currently. Alabama. The great state of Alabama? Yes. Sounds like a scary place to swim, what with that crimson tide I've heard about. Anyway, what big city are we near? Huntsville. I see. Have you been to the U.S. Space and Rocket Center there in Huntsville? Yes. So you're the visitor they keep talking about. Huh.
Well, it's been a long time ago, like maybe 10 years or something. It's back during a school field trip. Anything else to say? Hello? Hi there. What's up? Not much. I must tell you that your country truly fascinates me. Here at the beginning of a new millennium, the most visible signs of change for America is that it continues to get stronger and more influential in the world. Yet for a country with so much influence, it's made up of so many disparate parts. You people of the South seem so different from everyone else, yet even though your lifestyle is so different, it still fits. Colonial reachings have even brought places like Alaska and Hawaii into the fold. What will your future be like? Will there be 55 states in a hundred years? Will there be no states at all? These are the things I think about. And I'm sure you have, too. Oh, yes. Sure have. Of course, in a hundred years, I will not be here, so it's no concern. Pretty much. What can I do for you? How about talk some more? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Happy? I hate it when he does that. Blah, blah, blah. Where to start? Well, I found out a little about you based on where we live. Now I'm curious if you've learned anything about your fellow humans based on where they live. Tell me, have you ever traveled abroad? No. You know the expression about walking a mile in someone's shoes? Well, walking a mile in their country is the next best thing. You have no idea how much you don't know about a person until you find out about their home. Humans always seem to play it too safe. They stay in their own little world instead of realizing that the world belongs to those that live in it. And if you don't travel it and learn about it, you're not really living in it, you see. Besides, think of all the hot bods you can meet overseas. <laughs> yes. That'd be great. Hello? Ho there. What's up? Is something bothering you, little one? Hmm, no. Oh, I see. Maybe you shouldn't alarm me like that, then. I have another point to make regarding travel and culture. Oh. Shall I share it with you? Yes. Okay, then. Whether or not you've traveled abroad, you're part of an ever-shrinking world. Sure, you know that. There's even a song about it being a small world after all, but... Never in history has it become so important to be familiar with and tolerant of other peoples and their cultures. You and your descendants will be forced to deal more and more with people from all over the world. Think of the effect that will have. Cultures will become further mixed. You already see that in small ways, like your pop music with musical styles being combined, in your food with fusion cuisine, it's a natural result of the world's economy becoming mixed. The prevalence of the internet, cheaper, faster travel. The end result will more likely be that there may be no more countries to speak of in the future. The world will be more of a cohesive unit.
just as it happened in the United States and is already happening in Europe. That to me is very exciting. Hmm. That's very interesting. Especially since this was this was like eleven years ago. So it's even more true now, right? Maybe? I don't know. Now, go think about what I've said, and we'll talk again later. Yeah, alrighty. So there is Seaman's little wisdom, or knowledge, or garbage <laughs> for you. And hopefully we get a kick out of Seaman's conversations. So anyway, this is this has been another update. Uh, this has been another update on the Sea Man. I hope you all enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Would you like soon for more updates? Maybe next time he'll actually be hopping around as a frog. So see you all then.